Hello, I'm N. Young, and you're watching Brick City News, BCN. We're now almost a month into the semester. We've been doing a great job keeping campus safe and healthy, and we want to keep it that way. One very important thing that we all need to do is to complete the daily health screen. We urge you to do it before you start your day. Incorporate it in your morning routine. Set a calendar reminder. Tape a note to your mirror or laptop, whatever it takes. We want to stay on campus for the whole semester, and the daily health screen is a simple way to check how you're feeling and keep our campus safe. Here are some tips from RIT NTID on how to do the daily health screen. Hi, my name is Blake, and I'm going to take you through a few steps to show you how to use the new RIT daily health screening. It's easy and will help keep everyone safe on campus. You will receive an email every morning and you will need to complete the screening before you come to campus or leave your dorm. When you get the email, click on the link or go to dailyhealth.rit.edu. The screening can be used on iPhone and Android mobile phones. It will also work on Chrome, Firefox, Edge, IE11, desktop or laptop computer browsers. If you don't have an internet connection, you can call 585-438-5257. You will need to know your university ID number to complete the screening. Go ahead and click on the login. Then click the next box that says sign in with your corporate ID. That will take you to the RIT page that will ask for your RIT username and password. You will then see the page complete your self-assessment. Click on I agree, let's start. Next, the screen will give you a list of the possible symptoms of COVID-19. Please read the list carefully. It includes things like loss of taste or smell, chills and or fever above 100, sore throat not related to allergies, feeling ill, tired, or muscle aches, strange headaches or eye pain, a new cough or change in cough, new or increased difficulty breathing, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or loss of appetite, a recent contact with a person who tested positive for COVID-19. If you are not experiencing any of these symptoms, click No, which will take you to a Cleared to Circulate on Campus pass, and you're good to go. However, if you are experiencing any of these symptoms, click Yes. That will take you to a screen asking a follow-up question. Can any of these symptoms be explained by medication, recent consumption of food and or alcohol, or allergen exposure? If your symptoms are caused by any of these, click Yes and you'll receive the Cleared to Circulate on Campus Pass. But if your symptoms are not a result of medication, food, alcohol, or allergies, click No or Unsure and you'll get a Stop, Do Not Report to RIT Pass. You will be directed to either contact your physician if you are either faculty or staff, or the Student Health Center if you're a student. Now you're all set. Some things to remember. Your pass for the day will be saved in your My COVID-19 Day Pass section. At any time during the 24-hour period, click on My COVID-19 Day Pass to retrieve that day's pass. You can also download the daily pass by clicking the green button. You need to log into the daily health screening seven days a week. That means even on the weekends when you're not going to classes or coming to campus. If you experience any problems with the daily screening, contact the ITS Service Desk at 585-438-5257. 
585-475-4357 or visit their website at help.rit.edu. If you have medical questions, contact your health professional or the RIT Student Health Center at 585-475-2255 or email studenthealth at rit.edu. Thank you for being RIT ready and helping to keep our communities safe. Flu season is also coming up. September and October is the best time to get a vaccination to help prevent a rise in the flu and also to protect yourself. Flu shots are free on campus with most insurance providers. Students will need to bring a health insurance card and a photo ID to the clinic. If students do not have insurance, they may receive the flu vaccine at the Student Health Center for $20. To see the locations of vaccinations happening on campus, please visit the website. Are you working hard on your studies and want a space to work in? Or looking for somewhere you can transition from on-campus class to an online class? RIT has new student study spaces in addition to the library. These spaces include the Ritter Ice Arena, Sims Conference Center, Fireside Lounge, and the Campus Center Reading Room. In addition, several buildings on campus have opened auditoriums and conference rooms for your use. If you want to learn more, visit the RIT Ready website. ITS also will add these locations to the campus maps that are available online to help you find available spaces. The Dyer Arts Center has organized two new online exhibits. First, an exhibit organized in response to the killings of black Americans, such as George Floyd. The opening reception will be held on Saturday, September 19th, from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern via Zoom. You can register online here. The second exhibit is Palettes of Nature. This exhibit is a celebration of green and growing things. The opening reception will be held on Friday, September 25th, from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern via Zoom. You can register online here. Don't forget to save the date for the next What's Your Diversity program on September 23rd. Guest storytellers will be named leading up to the program date, and each seminar will be hosted by Dr. Taj Smith, RIT's Director of Diversity Education. If you want to learn more, visit the website. ROAR The Vote is a campus initiative created to provide RIT students with the resources necessary to register and vote in local, state, and national elections. RIT will partner with TurboVote to offer a website to determine if you are registered to vote, request an absentee ballot from your home state if you want to vote using that address, Change your voting registration to your RIT or New York address if you want to vote here, and get all the deadlines and reminders you need to vote. Roar the Vote is hosting weekly voter registration tabling events in the CPC Breezeway between Campus Center and Clark Gym. 
Roar the Vote volunteers will be happy to help you through the TurboVote website and get you set up to vote. Stop by! Interpreters have been requested for Tuesday, September 15th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Tuesday, September 22nd, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you want to learn more about the election and what Roar the Vote offers, visit the website. For the latest Roar the Vote events, follow SLT's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram page. Follow at at NTIDSLT. Also, there are some rules for student organizations that participate in political activities. If your student organization is planning to participate in any political activities, be sure you know what is and is not allowed. You can learn more on the RIT website. RIT is currently at the alert level of green. What does this mean? It means that there still is a threat of a COVID outbreak, but the virus is low on campus. We still need to be responsible, focus on keeping six feet apart from others, wear your mask, wash your hands according to COVID-19 guidelines. We need to be committed to being RIT ready. To learn more, visit the RIT Ready website. That's it for the second episode of Brick City News, BCN. Please make sure you do your daily health screening every day. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. I hope your studies are progressing well. And don't forget, Everyone at RIT NTID is happy to provide assistance and support. We encourage you to reach out to RAs, the NTID Student Life Team, professors, counselors, and others within the RIT NTID community for anything you need. I'm In Young, and I'll see you soon.